Okay, so while I was ranting, I'm not ranting, I was making, I was just talking, and making a, a video just where I was talking. No idea if it's going to get uploaded or not. But anyways, while doing that, I got enough codex pages to buy my very first ability. So we're going to, or ability codex. So I'm finally, after a very long time, going to get an upgrade that was, I should have gotten a long time ago, but this is double surge, baby. Let's fucking go. Let's fucking go. Oh my God. I wasn't recording. I wasn't recording, but it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine, dude. It's fine. It's fine. This is not a drill, boys. This is not a drill. I repeat, this is not a drill. Red alert or green alert. Green alert. This is not a drill. I repeat, this is not a drill. Anthony has finally finished his goddamn bow. All right. 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 I don't know what to do right now. I'm going to be completely honest. I'm and web. Okay. We're going to go and craft the spider leg this is 280 million million also 14 dollars one sub so go figure not that much money but that is a spider leg in our bank we're going to put this in the bank so we can at least have the placeholder in the bank we got to get those placeholders even though we're going to have no more bank space placeholders are way more important than bank space i hate to break it to you guys um then we can make the noxious longbow are you guys ready for this monumental occasion. I don't think you're ready. Because I'm not ready. Are you ready? Because I'm not. I'm making it anyways. Are you sure you will? Yes. I want to create the Noxious Longbow. It's all I've ever wanted. It's fucking made. Oh, oh my god. I'm so happy right now. It's not even funny how happy I'm. Uh, are you sure you can no longer. How much is it worth bro? 314. Uh, you will no longer be able to trade. I, I, I literally do not care. Oh my god, it's beautiful! It's absolutely beautiful! We can take this bad boy, remove that... God, there's some noxious longbow. <laughs> I'm so excited, bro. Oh my god, it's finally done! It is finally done! In my excitement, my microphone was peaking like crazy. I apologize. But uh, I've calmed down a little bit. I've calmed down. I'm not kidding. Oh my God. I'm so excited. Okay. Okay. Relax. I still don't know what to do though. The only thing I really, I, there, there are two more things I have left to do. A is finish all the freaking arrows. So this way I can go and be able to make them efficiently. So I have to grind all those out, which is going to be effort. Additionally, I have to go and, um, What's that thing called? I have to go and grind out uh, these bad boys, Zamrigal and Vorkath, to get my tier 90 power armor. So I have to do those two things. Now, I guess, alternatively, I could make Serenic stuff. I do have 27. How much is needed for one piece? I, is, I know it's freaking crazy. 14, 28... Yeah, I don't know about this one, Chief. 40... I would need a lot. Uh, I don't know about that one, Chief. We'll hold on to them for now, but... Oh, and in case anyone's curious, I am doing my daily uh, kill, and I'm doing some Vorkath kills. Doing it on normal mode, I will eventually maybe learn hard mode. The reason I'm doing normal mode, though, is I think I'm going to turn Vorkath almost into a Raxor, because I have to go and get uh, a similar vein of annoying materials. I have to get un Undead Dragon Hide, which I can turn these into... Uh, undead dragon leather and then make tier 75 ranged armor but the biggest thing is he has a chance to drop or they have a chance to drop at a 1 in 50 rate on normal mode these vorkath spikes i need a handful of those to turn said armor pieces into um into tier 90 power armor and that's going to be tier 90 my range tier 90 range power armor so a little bit of a handful to say but that is what i'm doing well, it's a little bit of a nice day. I've actually been doing Slayer tasks, so or uh, death tasks, and I'm sure everyone knows what I'm about to get now, but let's go to rewards here, and let's buy our next Hydrex. I think we need one more to make EOF, which is, like, the best aimment in the game, I believe. There's that. I'm going to get... I can get another task. Let me just hop worlds real quick so I can get the next task, and then we will also go... Right, while I'm running, I'm going to go and use this with that... And yes, I want to create an uncut hydrix. So as you don't know, this is how you make an uncut hydrix. I'm going to cut that for 198 XP. Now we're going to go to the furnace here. We're going to use said furnace to make a 
I don't need to boost anymore. Uh, gold bar, Hydrix amulet. I have 99 crafting. I don't need to worry about that shiz anymore. And boom, we now have a Hydrix amulet. Unstrung, we now have a Hydrix amulet. And now we can go and enchant it with our, I believe it's level 6 enchant on Hydrix. And now get the amulet of souls. Ba boom. I believe this is something you use when you're not using necromancy. <laughs> I believe this is the non-necromancy necklace, but the main purpose, like I said, of this is mostly just to be able to go and I'm gonna throw this over here. We're gonna eventually combine it with our Reaper necklace and we we're gonna make an amulet uh, uh, essence of finite or something. Hold on, I'll tell you exactly what it's called. Amy, we get Amy of the Souls, then we use that with a Reaper necklace to create an essence of finality, which is like, I believe it's like the best necklace in the game. And what it does, it's really cool, it has a bunch of stuff, but it allows you to like store the special attack of items in it. So that's what I'm working towards. I have to get, I believe it's one more. Okay, so I went and looked up what kind of some of the basic perks are that are like starting perks for you know, just PVM in general for range. And that's why I decided to put on this bad boy. So if we go here to check, I'll just show you. I got Explosive 4 or Eruptive 4, which has a chance to increase uh, ability damage by 0.5 per rank. So it's 2% damage increase, uh, chance to do that. And they also got uh, Precision Stick, which increases our minimum damage by 1.5% per rank uh, of our max by 1.5% per rank of your maximum damage i don't know i, I don't really know but I, it, from what i understand how precision works and i could be wrong here is it like per rank it like lowers the two like each one gets kind of lowered um and closer together so it's less spread out it basically it effectively increases your dps by making the range of damage you can do be a lot smaller and more precise that's my understanding and i could be wrong so i put those on the on this it took a little bit of historic components I actually have a couple extra just general um gizmos i'll show you because my first time making I, I think it's my first time making ancient weapon gizmos but i have two i have a genocide and looting one and a genocidal precision four so i might put the genocide precision four on something else uh i'll be completely honest um you know like i don't know like if i get an extra weapon or something i don't know maybe replace you know my lantern i don't want it quite amazing it's quite amazing to me how far my character has come i quite literally remember farming this guy for just like basic stuff <laughs> like i remember farming him to get my prayer up and now i am just killing him for a task and it's an absolute joke of a fight comparatively to a lot of other stuff i've done it's just genuinely amazes me and i'm being serious here it's like such a fun thing to just go back to bosses you've like you know i really had to try on when you're at lower levels to now where it's just quite literally just you know so completely random and honestly not that important but a cool thing nonetheless is the fact that I did just finish my very first God Sword uh, Blade, which means I can get my very first God Sword uh, if I wanted to. God Swords, I believe, are not that good. I believe some people EOF like the Seraphim Sword, um, but I can make my first God Sword Blade, so I'm going to go do that. I don't know if I need to or if I should make any blade or any... um. What's the thing called? Sorry. I don't know if I should go and make any... Uh... I'm trying to remember the word for it. If I should make the, a god sword or not. But for now, I'm just going to go make the blade real quick. Anyways, we come to the anvil. We can go and make the god sword blade here. And smash, smash. We now have our very first god sword blade, which is worth alk value. Yay! So supposedly, the two god swords... There's actually two god swords that have some use. The first one is actually... One I can make now, which is the Saradoman God Sword, so I can make the Sarah God Sword. The uh, the other one is uh, Armadillo God Sword. Apparently, the Armadillo God Sword has a good special attack. Supposedly, supposedly, it competes with Dragon Claws. So, I guess if I bother to camp out for an Armadillo God Sword in AGS, I guess I could EOF that. Is my understanding. 
But the Ceridoma God Sword has the added benefit of you can turn it passive and then just basically, I guess, use it as like a Slayer weapon is, again, my understanding. I don't fully know or going to pretend like I understand. For now, I'm going to keep the blade in my bank with the Ceridoma God Sword hilt. I think you can disassemble the weapons or like not disassemble, but you can like break them apart. Like you can uh, detach the blade from the hilt. At least I believe you can in old school runescape i don't know if you can do that runescape 3 anymore i assume you can't i don't see why you wouldn't be able to um but i believe that's a thing and if you can't then i'm a liar but regardless i'm not gonna risk it and i'm just gonna go and not do anything i don't think it's that important of an object and i'll probably eventually get the hill anyways from just doing sayer tasks ah uh, i almost missed it but this is 90 agility required i'm might still keep going with agility grinding on top of ever bunch of other things I'm doing but the main reason I went to this um is you guys probably saw from the uh from the achievement or from the pop-ups but let me show you real quick okay so the main reason I wanted this is because of an upgrade I can get so if I come here I've actually been taking up bag space so I believe it's uh Where is it? Here it is. Essential oils. Here we go. So we're going to do this. And then now if we go to manage base camp, we should be able to go to the spa here. And we should be able to get, we get uh, essential oils for wood, leaves, and clay. So I'm going to go and do that. And then boom, we now have tier three, which gives us 10% agility when we're doing uh the agility course instead of uh seven percent so we get an extra three percent more agility xp plus the six percent we get from our bonus so we're getting a total of 16 percent extra xp uh total when we're doing this so that's pretty good anyways i'm gonna go i'm gonna change this up a tiny bit here just so i can get some of these things back over time and then i think i actually want to start working on mining and smithy because if you guys don't know there's a mining and smithing rework <laughs> sorry so another two goals I actually kind of want to add to my list or another things I want to add to my list to do. One of them is one that you're seeing me right now, and that's mining. I want to slowly work on getting the mining uh, the or the or the bars I need um, for ores and bars I need for 99 smithing. I need to get 4.3k, about 4.3k elder rune bars and right now with my current xp in order to get to 99 smithing obviously that's going to go down as dailies and stuff come out and you know the mining and smithing rework update may come out and stuff like that but for now that's just what i'm going to go for so i think over time i'm just going to slowly mine ore every so often i just started doing this last night and i uh last night and i'm obviously it's the next day today uh after work and i'm already at over 500 of the anima ore so that's good uh, i had none so i feel like that's good progress in basically one day so we can slowly get there and that's good and the hardest part about this is going to be getting the dark anima uh, or the dark and light anima so i you know good progress there and i'm going to slowly work on this over time i don't know if i have mitch rune if not i'll just have to get it yeah i only have 800 but well we can get more it's not that big of a deal rune i'm not too worried about um but there's that. Then that's kind of the basics of what I want to go for next. Additionally, there's one more goal I want to add, and this is super long term. But I want to eventually start doing Croasis, uh, like pr properly, so I can get myself the Spore Hammer. And that's really the main thing I want from Croasis. The reason I want the Spore Hammer is to keep this super short and sweet. Is I want to eventually be able to get Death Spore arrows. I feel like they're going to be very useful long term. I've kind of mentioned them in some of the clips when I'm talking about ammunition. I don't know how many of those are going to be in there. But in order to get that, I do need to go into Croasis to get Death Spore. So it's a giant trickle effect of, oh, if I want to get the arrows. Or so well effect where, oh, if I want to get the arrow to, to mine the arrows. I have to do Crisis, which is going to, you know, I have to get the Spore Hammer from Crisis. And in order to really do Crisis properly, I have to learn it properly and probably get with a dedicated group, etc., etc. It's just a snowball effect of things I'm going to have to do and properly learning the boss. So that is on my to do list eventually. Uh, and like I said, the other goals still pertain. Getting that tier 90 power armor is my PVM goal, my current PVM goal, as well as doing my daily Slayer stuff so I can, or daily uh, death tasks so I can try to get my last Hydrix for my EOF. So there's that.